How to pair your Apple Watch with a new iPhone. If you have your old iPhone, use these steps to back up your Apple Watch before pairing with your new iPhone. Before you switch your Apple Watch to a new iPhone, update your old iPhone and update your Apple Watch. It could take from several minutes to an hour for the update to complete. You might want to update overnight or wait until you have time and make sure that both of your devices are charged. If you back up using Iclid, go to settings your name Iclid and make sure that health is on. If you back up using your computer, encrypt your backup to save your health and activity content. Use these steps to back up your old iPhone in Iclid or on your computer. Your iPhone also backs up your Apple Watch. Set up your new iPhone. When asked if you have an Iclid or iTunes backup, choose your most recent backup to restore your data from your old device to your new device. Make sure that your iPhone and Apple Watch are up to date. If they aren't, you might not see your backup in the list. If your iPhone asks if you want to use your Apple Watch, tap Continue. If it doesn't ask, you can still set up your Apple Watch manually in the next step. Get help if your iPhone doesn't ask if you want to use your Apple Watch. Open the Apple Watch app on your new iPhone. Keep your Apple Watch and iPhone close together. Open the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. If your iPhone asks you to confirm that you want to use your watch, follow the on-screen steps to finish setting up. If your iPhone asks you to start pairing, unpair your Apple Watch so that you can set it up. After setup, you can start using your Apple Watch with your new iPhone. If you don't have your old iPhone or you erased it, your Apple Watch might still be paired with your old iPhone. Use the steps below to unpair, erase your Apple Watch. Set up your new iPhone and sign into Iclid. If you've already set up and signed in, skip this step. Open the Apple Watch app on your new iPhone, then pair your watch with your new iPhone. Try to restore from a backup. Make sure that your iPhone and Apple Watch are up to date. If they're not, you might not see your backup in the list. You will lose activity, workouts, or settings on your watch that changed between the last backup and now. If you use Iclid in iOS 11 and later, health and activity data is stored in Iclid and automatically kept up to date on devices where you're signed in with the same Apple ID. If you're asked to restore from a watch backup, select the most recent backup. If you don't have a backup, you need to set up your Apple Watch as new. Follow the on-screen steps to finish setting up. Start using your Apple Watch with your new iPhone. You might need to wait a few days for all your Iclid data to appear. Thanks for watching.